Stacey Dooley's recorded voiceover was amended, Ian West, PA, the BBC has amended a scene from Stacey Dooley's Panorama documentary after she referred to a Muslim prayer gesture as an is salute. The program, due to air on BBC One tonight, sees the Strictly Come Dancing winner visit camps in northern Syria and speak to women who left their own countries to join Islamic State. In one scene Dooley, 32, says in a scripted voiceover that as she and her crew left the Al Hal refugee camp they'd saw women raising their index fingers in an salute. August 5, at BBC One Panorama focusing on those women who left the UK and Europe to join his in the caliphate, what happens to them now? Pick.twitter.com slash xloq4d, Stacey Dooley, at Stacey Dooley, July 24, 2019 The salute is used as a symbol of Tawhid, the belief in the oneness of God, although it has been co-opted by his supporters. Monitoring group Tell Mama tweeted, Tawhid, Tawhid is the defining doctrine of Islam, demonstrating the oneness of Allah, God. To reduce such a fundamental and important concept to a mere is salute, it is grossly wrong, ignorant, and damaging. It added, this again demonstrates the importance of having Muslim representation in media, and more broadly, improving religious literacy. This again demonstrates the importance of having Muslim representation in media, and more broadly, improving religious literacy. Tell Mamak, at Tell Mamak's August 5, 2019 a spokesman for the BBC said, We wrongly described a gesture made by women filmed in a Kurdish-controlled detention camp in northern Syria as an salute. Well as have attempted to adopt this for their own propaganda purposes, for accuracy we should have been clear that many people of Muslim faith use this gesture to signify the oneness of Allah. We apologize for this error and have removed this description from the footage. The Al Hal refugee camp, close to the Iraq border, is home to some 70,000 displaced people and was where 19-year-old his bride Shimima Begum was discovered by a British journalist. Islamic State Bride Shimima Begum, PA, the BBC also edited a teaser clip and removed the August 4th edition of the news at 10 from iPlayer, as both contained the description. It comes after duly said British as fighters operating in Syria are struggling with identity and belonging. Speaking on boxing promoter Eddie Hearn's BBC Radio 5 Live podcast on Monday, the documentary filmmaker said she understood why countries were hesitant about letting these women return. She said, I think it's about, and I'm not an expert, struggling with identity, and I think it's just about belonging and being represented, maybe. I'm just speculating but there are a few Brits over there, there are now situations where our countries are hesitant to take any of these people back and I understand why people